Hello, hi, welcome to Facebook Live. Um, make sure you like us on Facebook if you are not watching live. If you are watching live, I love you. So awesome. So we're gonna go over magical designs using our new packs. So a bunch of different things, a bunch of cool stuff that I like making. And you guys know that a lot of times when we do our new packs and live templates, I will actually edit the live template to say something else so that you guys can see you know, a little difference with, with how it works and what it's doing, okay? Um, so I'm just reading a couple of the comments real quick. Uh, bought a laser last year, brought it home, tested it, and they're sad with these. Todd, feel free to send it down to me. You're too busy with your store anyway, so just go ahead and send it to me. And hi, Kelly, how are you? So um, I'm going to go over and we're going to talk about um, the new designs i'm going to start with ones that are pretty simple and then i'm going to kind of work my way up so i think the first thing that i'm going to show you is going to be something from the um uh why am i blanking out family reunion pack so there's a couple things that i want to show you about this so um let me jump over to my computer i'm going to like show you the pack on my computer so hold on one second do i need to do anything Oh, okay, so we're setting up my computer to show you the screen because I'm going to show you the packs, you know, all the cool things with it. And I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what I'm working with right now. Um, so this is going to be, the first one that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the uh, family reunion pack. And we're going to get us set up. Hold on one second, guys. We're just getting that going. Um... Donna is working on two bachelorette parties. That is a very interesting thing that you say, Donna, because something that I'm about to make will be uh, very useful for that. And then also, is my computer blinged out? Yes, Pam. I have uh, a sheet and a half of the AB. I think I made some bling anything sheets with machine cut stones because I am very fancy. Uh, but yes, I have the machine cut stones on bling anything sheets on my computer. I did about one and a half because I do have a pretty wide screen for that. And the cup, love the cup, thank you. It was um, one of the Christmas cups from Starbucks. It was one of those things that like, as soon as they rolled it out, I had to go to the store and get it because they were like sold out quickly. So um, thankfully a good friend of mine goes to Starbucks way too much. And so she actually picked it up for me before they sold out. They did make one of these that was in rose gold that sold out before I, I even got there. If you find one, feel free to send it to me because that's the one that I really want. But pretty cool. We don't have to show it. It's I don't okay. know why it's not working though. Where did I go? I went to Starbucks. No, I'm just teasing. We're trying to get my computer set up to show the screen, but Sophia is having a hard time. No, that's not it. <laughs> it keeps automatically disconnecting it. What's well, it's disconnecting it? Yeah. So do they see the screen for a second or what do they see? They're seeing the screen like the home page, but I'll just switch it back to you. Do you wanna I mean, do you wanna just show it on your computer? I basically wanna show the packs. Can you go to your screen and show the packs on your screen? Where's that home screen? Because we're not showing the computer now. No. That's totally fine. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so we are not <laughs> going to show the screen. <laughs> but what I was doing is if you go to the website and you check out the new family reunion pack. So with the family reunion pack, it's really cool. There are a bunch of different ones in there. And I saw a design in there that I thought would be really cool with something that's not a family reunion, okay? So um, what we have is I cut out a design in metal. So I know a lot of you guys are having issues with cutting metal. I did do a video on our YouTube channel a couple weeks ago with how to cut metal with your Cameo. Check that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to this side camera over here and show you a couple things to look out for before I weed it. So you will notice, so this one said like, something family beach reunion. But what I did, and look how shiny this is, you can see me, hi. Um, what I did is I changed it to a bachelorette thing. So Lisa's 
Beach Bachelorette 2018. And the cool thing is I used this as a live template. So all I had to do was retype it, weld it, and then I'm all set to go. So one thing I want you to notice about this is that it looks like it cut all the way through. You see that? So the way that the metal works is that when you cut through, you'll see the lines very clearly through the carrier. Now, if you feel it, it's smooth to the touch, which is good, and you go to the other side and you can definitely see the lines. So I'm gonna start weeding this to show you a couple other things, and we're gonna kinda talk about it. So while I'm doing this, guys, don't forget, I'm gonna give these things away at the end. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Also, I love answering your questions as I go, so if you do have questions on anything while I'm doing this, please ask. Um, I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can, but please ask questions. I love it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my weeding tool, grab a section here. And so the corner is going to be the hardest part to start weeding with this the way it is. But you can see as I peel this up, this material is a lot thinner. So you'll notice with metal that it feels really thick. A lot of that is because it's the, the carrier. Um, it's not all the time, but a lot of times um, cold peel vinyls have really thick carriers. So I'm just going to peel this up. And you can see that the vinyl is a lot thinner. It almost reminds me of like mylar balloons is what I always say. So we're just going to peel it up. And you can see I'm having no issues weeding it. I'm just kind of weeding it normally. And this is why, guys, I know there was a, a joke in the group, the Facebook group the other week about me talking about test cuts, but I'm not, I'm not joking here, guys. Like, this is why we do a test cut. You see how easy that was? If you're not doing a test cut and you're guessing on your cuts, well, sometimes you can have a hard time weeding and it's gonna take you a lot longer to weed your design because you didn't do your test cut and you're not saving yourself any time or money. Like, when people are like, you know, I don't wanna do a test cut because I don't have time for that. Well, you sure do have time to spend like, you know, two hours weeding this design. But that's my little soapbox, you guys. You know I like ranting out things like that. But now we're just taking out these little parts of our pineapple. I like this design a lot because it works really well with one color. Now, of course, you can do this with any other color. This is gonna be great with white vinyl, black vinyl, all those things, but you know, I am a fancy girl, so I wanted the gold medal because that's what we do, okay? I fully embraced that I am what the kids call a basic white girl, and that's fine. I like sparkly things. I like all the things, and that's totally fine. So I'm just grabbing my little pieces of the pineapple. You guys know my ring. I'm using my little nail polish holder ring for my weeding vinyl. I got it from Craft Chameleon. You can get it many places online. A lot of people get theirs from Amazon. Choose where you would like. I personally get mine from Craft Chameleon. Um, I think they're a great business. I love getting stuff from there. But, you know, they have it a lot of places. Hi, Nadine. Thank you. Um, so, will you scroll the comments down a little bit, please? Thank you. It was, and then it just gave me that, um, it gave me that view more. Not again. Oh, we're good now. Okay, we're good. Cool. Maybe because it wasn't on that screen or something. Cool. So we're just weeding this up. I'm just chatting away. And I'm just using this to go into my um, weeding ring. Um, what's funny is the metal is fun to do. Ray-Ban sunglasses on Mickey. I'm not going to comment on that because, you know, copyright. But it is good for sunglasses. Um, but I love test cuts, guys. I know... Um, she says, I, I'm on board with test cuts. I have any issues with anything, so I took your advice. Yes, I'm not joking. I still do test cuts. Like, everyone's like, no, I've cut this before. I don't need to do a test cut. Yes, you do. Because you never know if your blade's dull, if your machine is weird. I'm going to tell you a story. Literally today, okay? I'm cutting all my vinyl for um, today's live, and I'm cutting a bunch of easy weed. And um, I'm like, psh. I just cut a bunch of easy weed. I don't need to test my settings, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? I recorded a video yesterday on um, overview of the auto blade. And I was messing around with it a lot. And I somehow had like knocked it off of calibration or something. And it didn't cut my design. I had to literally like take my blade out, take the top off, clean it, and reset it so that I could cut with it. Anchor Sparkle Starbucks. 
<laughs> it's totally true. I um, what's funny is they have this thing at Starbucks called the pink drink, which is one of their refreshers that they put um, coconut milk in instead of like water or something. And um, I'm gonna go to the front camera and kind of show this up front instead of water or something. And it's very big on Instagram because it's like light pink with strawberries in it. And I would like, you know, kind of laugh at it. Like, who goes to Starbucks and not get coffee? Well, over the weekend, it was like my third trip to Starbucks because I was like with people and I was thinking I can't have coffee or I my heart will just beat out of my chest. So I got one of those and I will have to admit, guys, it is really delicious. <laughs> so don't make fun of everything with Instagram famous lives because it's... It's pretty good. Okay, so check this out. This is my design. This was adapted from the family reunion pack, so I just wanted to show you this because I think it's gonna be really awesome to use it and, and use the layout, but use it for other different things. So we have this set here, and this is with the Caesar Metal heat transfer vinyl. So it's not like I didn't grab foil and cut it or anything like that. It's Caesar Metal, and it's got this nice shiny look that we're about to press. So let me go over, am I good to keep doing that? Okay. So let's go over to my heat press. And I am using a different color J America, guys. So this is a J America shirt, and this is in a pink color. So it's a glitter shirt. I think they call this passion pink or something like that, but I think it's really cute. And I think it's gonna look great with that gold. So I had little strings on it, so I just brushed it off. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my pre-press. You can see I have a lot of moisture in here. I have wrinkles. You can't see moisture, but you can see the wrinkles. But <laughs> I have moisture and wrinkles in here because it's Florida. So we're gonna go over here, and bring this up. Um, Tasha, are there only two colors from the metal HTV? Yes, it only comes in silver and gold. Um, hopefully they come out with more. I know that they've added a lot of colors to the electric line. So, um, you know, you can always use some of the electric colors, but maybe, maybe the metal will come in other colors. I don't really know. I would like it. Okay, so here's my design. Shoot, it's gonna look so good. So we're gonna put on the shirt. I have my pineapple up here, so I'm gonna bring it pretty close to the collar. And I'm lining up the sides of my design with my, with my collar, the neck holes. All right, so we have this set here. And my heat press is set to 310 degrees. Metal's probably closer to like 315, 320. But because I'm doing a lot of different vinyls, I'm just going to do 310. It'll be totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down for the full 15 seconds. And one thing to note is when I'm done, this is going to be a cold peel. So I'm not going to peel off my carrier right away, okay? So we're working on this. I have about five more seconds left. Um, hi, everyone. I saw more people join. I'm glad you're here. So my press is done. Let's move my carrier. And I'm going to go to the camera all the way over here to show you some stuff. All right. So we're going to let this cool because this is a cold peel. Now, if you look at it, uh-oh. What happened? So if you look at it, you can see that there's like the texture on here. So we're letting it cool off. And guys, let me know if you can see and hear me. I know our screen's getting a little bit weird, so I wanna make sure you guys can see and hear me. So I'm gonna let this cool. Let me know how the video's looking, how the sound is looking. We're working on it. Cool, hi Jessica. You know, Brian, we actually have really fast internet. I think it's just Sophie. We need to upgrade our uh, marketing assistant. <laughs> okay, are we good? Okay, let me just give you guys, this is what's happening. So Seth, our IT guy, had to come in and work on this too. So this is, this is what was happening. I don't know what exactly happened, but this was the look of fear. This is, they don't know what's happening. They're trying to fix it, but I think we're good. <gasps> Todd says we didn't have issues like this when Bino was here. But you had typos. We had typos last week. You told me earlier today. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move on. Am I good to move on? Okay, thank you guys. All teasing, you know, Sophie and Seth work hard. Okay, so this is all cooled because I have plenty of time to let it cool. So we're gonna peel this back. So what I'm doing is I'm going to roll this down. 
I don't want to peel my carrier up like this because I don't want to stretch the HTV. So I'm just kind of like rolling it down to try to keep it as perpendicular as I can because I don't want to stretch it. Oh, you guys saw my... <laughs> I opened my phone in front of the camera. They all know my password. Uh -huh. No, that's not my password. That's a dummy one. All right, so we're just going to pull right here. And I'm just going to kind of go this way. When you're doing this, you probably don't want to let it cool as much as I let it cool. But... You know, I wanted you to see me peel it. All right, so there is my first shirt. So we have our Beach Bachelorette. So this is actually using the Family Reunion Pack, but I went ahead, used the Live Template Editor, changed this up, and used it for a Bachelorette thing. So this is going to be great for um, your Bachelorette parties, your your wedding parties, all of these different things, and of course your family reunion, but you can see it went through pretty easily. And I have this as a, um, with the Caesar metal gold, all right? So I think it looks pretty cute. I think it looks really good with the glitter. We have that all set. So just a note, I had a hard time rolling this off. Part of that is because I let it cool a little bit too long so you guys won't have that issue because you won't have someone watching you on a live feed and trying to figure that out. Okay, are you guys ready for the next one? So the next design that I'm going to do is actually from our mermaid pack. So this is a live template that was already set up for you. I didn't do any editing on it. I literally just resized it and cut it. Okay, so I have this with jade glitter. Now, I just wanna do a little public service announcement. As of right now, this moment, we have sold out of Mermaid Blue because probably the Mermaid Pack. We do have some on order. It should be here at the end of the week, so it will be here, but just so you know, Mermaid Blue is out of stock for the time being. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna weed this outside part. So these, um, that vinyl, the Caesar Metal is available on our website, therhinestoneworld.com. We'll post a link in the comments for Caesar Metal in just a second um, for you to purchase it. You can get it from there. So here is a cute little mermaid, but it's not over yet. There's words in here. So we're going to go over and I'm going to grab my weeding tool and my little ring. And we're going to start weeding out our text. So I can see a little one right here. So we'll go right here. So the great thing about something like this is I like to take glitter and knock out my text from the inside. A lot of times when you have really little words, it's hard to actually read it when you're cutting it in glitter. Like if you were to do it in reverse and have your letters on your shirt, you know, like this, they sometimes get really hard to read when they're that thin and they're on a shirt. Because what's happening is when you have glitter, the, the way that glitter works and what makes it so beautiful is that it's reflecting light. And so when you have something that's really small, I saw Kaden says hi. Hi, Kaden. Um, when you have something so small um, and it's reflecting light, it gets hard to see the definition in it. So what we're doing for something like this is we are using the glitter to be on the outside and then we're using the color of the shirt to actually show the text. You can see right here, it's a lot easier to see with this than actually having to cut it out. So I have one little area that's snagged. One second, let me fix this. So you can see every now and then my blade skips. That's really a matter of I'm using an older blade. I need to change it out soon. And I'm also cutting stuff all the time. So I'm just gonna fix this little section here. And then we're just gonna keep weeding. So we have our mermaid kisses. And what I'm doing is I know glitter can be hard to see. I'm kind of holding my head level with this. And sometimes I can even do this and bend it to kind of see where my cut is. So we have my little swirly here. And I'm going to bring this up. So we have so far mermaid kisses and, and what? I don't know. 
right? So I just saw a question, how often do you change the blade in your Cameo? So it really depends on what I've been cutting. So a couple things to know is I use the Silhouette Auto Blade. Um, a fun fact about that, the blade that they use for the Auto Blade is the same strength as the Premium Blade. It's technically a Premium Blade, so it does last a lot longer. Um, with the blade, you can dull it faster based on what materials you're cutting. So for you guys, if you've been coming to my lives, you'll notice that I've been doing a lot of rhinestone templates. So that's going to wear my blade down faster. So that blade is, um, I would say like, I don't know. Hmm, I actually don't even remember when I changed it. So it's at the very youngest six months old. It's probably way more than six months old, but I don't change it very often. And you can see I had one or two snag, but not too bad. So it really depends. It can be anywhere from like a couple months to I had one that went well over a year. So this mermaid is from the newest mini pack. This is the mermaid pack, not the um, numbers one. We have like a birthday numbers one, but this is from the mermaid live template mini pack. Um, this is actually one of the templates that was already done. Like I didn't even have to edit it. It was all set up. So we're going to go right here. Um, can you use the auto blade with the original Cameo? No, the auto blade is available for the Cameo 3 and up. The way the auto blade works is it uses notches on the machine to ad manually adjust the blade manually for the machine. So those notches are not on the original Cameo. So check this out. Mermaid kisses and starfish wish wishes. So we're going to set that up. And then let me go over here and I'm just going to kind of sweep these into my bucket real quick. Okay, so I like this, and I think that this would look really cool on a little pillow cover. So I have a pillow cover right here. I'm going to take the plastic off. Um, Yvette, can a, fabric, can a fabric blade be used to cut the flock material? So let me tell you a little, bit sec a little secret about silhouette blades. The fabric blade and the original ratchet blade are the exact same blade. Okay, they have different casings to help you distinguish between the two, but they're actually the same blade. So um, yeah, you can cut fl flock with it. It's really made so you can kind of keep it separate. So check it out. So if I hold this up, you know, you can kind of read it, whatever. But once you put it on here, you use the glitter and then the inside part of here to be able to read it. So I know it's a little bit harder because of the lighting, but you can see we have that all set. So this is a great beachy look. So let's go over it. I'm gonna jump over to the heat press and we're gonna press this. So um, this pillow cover I did get from Craft Chameleon. Um, I really like their covers. It's a nice, sturdy, almost cotton canvas material. And there's a zipper at the bottom for your pillow insert. So. I like this a lot. They're really easy to change out, and I never have any issues pressing them. So let's go over here. I'm going to let my, my zipper hang down, and let's go ahead and close this. I'm just going to do that, kind of get those wrinkles out, get it all set. All right, so now we're just going to lay this out in the middle. If you guys like doing the folding, go ahead. I don't like it because I've had times where the marks don't go away. So I'm going to set it up there, and I thought a curl looked kind of weird. It did because I didn't weed it well. So we're going to kind of set this up. And you don't have to worry about it being perfectly straight because, like, I mean, it's a mermaid. She's floating. Like, if she's crooked, just say it's because she's floating, you know. So let's go ahead. I'm going to cover this, and then we're going to go ahead and press this for... 15 seconds. All right, so we're gonna let that go. So again, this is Caesar glitter. This is the jade color. Uh, I have my press set at 310 degrees. And um, this is the color that I'm using. I know we do have a mermaid blue on the website. It is out of stock right now, but it should be here by the end of the week. All right, so we just did our press. Let's go ahead and lift that up. And now we have our little pillow cover nice and cute and so you can see you have that glitter but because we knocked out our text on the inside the text is a flat color it's all set and so again this pillow cover is from craft chameleon they have them really affordably and they're great things to sell but they're also great for you know housewarming gifts and i'm going to go back to the front camera and show you some of this 
So check that out. So I get my pillow inserts from the craft store, um, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, that sort of thing. But you just get a pillow insert, switch it out, and then you can actually just switch these seasonally as well. So that is our Mermaid Life template one. This is um, a pillow cover. I'm going to give this away at the end too. So make sure you're liking, commenting, and sharing. That's how you're entered into the giveaway. So let me go ahead, set this to the side. And so I'm going to work on our last couple of ones, okay? So let me go over to this camera here and show you what's going on. So, you guys know I like to give you a design with lots of color as well. So, I took this design from the unicorn pack, and I honestly, I don't remember what the original said, but I changed it to say make every day magical. So, I kind of changed this around. So, this is a version that is all in easy weave. And what I did is I didn't do the black bottom part that I typically do because I'm going to put it on a black shirt. So I'm going to do a couple different versions. I have this one, but I also am going to be doing a glitter one. So I brought these over. These are all um, scrap pieces that I used to cut this with. So this is something that's cool for scrap pieces. This is actually something, these are the vinyl colors, some of them that I used last week for the donut. If you guys remember the like what was it, 10 presses that I had to do. So we're gonna go over and I'm gonna start weeding this. So a lot of this weeding is super simple. So if you guys have any questions on what I'm doing or any other things, feel free to let me know. Lay that in, lay that in. I don't know what that means. Drop it in the comments, you know, that sort of thing. But wait, there's more. There's always more. I try to do a lot of stuff for you because I wanna get a bunch of stuff in here. And also I love these new little packs. So I want you to see them. Don't forget, these packs are part of our 65% um, off. You can use TRW release-65. Get 65% off these designs. So this is the text for here. So I'm going to weed this part next. So I'm going to trim this and bring that over. All right, so this is neon blue. Cute little mermaid color. And so we're just going to start right here and work my way over. All right. Oops. So we're gonna rip that up. And really now it's just a matter of pulling our vinyl up and weeding. I'm gonna kinda go from there. And then sometimes I may get corners snagged. So what's happening here is my corner got a little bit snagged right here. This is one of the first signs you need to change your blade. Um, so I've been using my blade like crazy, so this happens. Um, but I'm just going to kind of rip it with my vinyl. So with something like this, I'm going to change my blade once I'm done with it because I have a couple corners that aren't working too well. Um, and you'll see if you look at it from an angle. Let me see if I can get that for you. There are pieces here that lifted when I was cutting. So that means I'm not getting good clean cuts. It's time to change my blade. Oh no, I have to get a new blade. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I love the feeling of a new blade. So for this, what temperature for the glitter? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I press my glitter anywhere between 310 and 315 sometimes 320 if I'm doing it with uh, rhinestones. So for something like this, because I've been doing easy weed and glitter, I have my heat press set at 310 degrees. It's a nice middle ground in my opinion. So we're going to kind of go right here. So this corner of my A snagged. So I'm going to hold this back. And so it did it cut cleanly right here. Can we right here? And now we're all set right here. So we have that all set. I have this weeded out. So now we're just going to go over and weed out the middle parts of our design. So just doing that. And the cool thing about glitter is, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to weed. Because it's so thick, you're not going to have too many issues with it. So I'm just digging my weeding tool in, grabbing them, and going. All right, so then we just have this bottom part. We're gonna go right here. 
Okay, so now we have this ready. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stack this on the unicorn to start some basic aligning. So we have this set right here. Did you say my name? Oh, so we have our Make Everyday Magical. So here's the first part of our design. We're working on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna trim this carrier closer for my easy weave because then I can kind of press them at the same time. Oh my goodness. Gabe, shouldn't you be working, doing a trade show or setting up or something like that? What does Gabe do, Sophie? He just comes into Facebook Live and comments. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> this is a house of learn crafter. <laughs> Look at everyone telling Gabe to go away. <laughs> So we're gonna set this up right here. And the reason why we're gonna press this together is I actually want to, um, if you notice, I have glitter that's gonna go on top of the easy weed here. So I wanna do this press in one. If I have to, I'll go ahead and do them like in separate presses, I'll cut it out. We're gonna kind of move on from there and I'm gonna keep cutting. So this is my next color. This is rose gold, pretty. So let me go over, find my weed box. Pull up from there. And let's check this out. So I might not need to change my blade. Look at this. Look at that teeny tiny little cut. Like there's my fingernail in, in relation. That worked out pretty well. So may not be my blade. I might have just had a weird, you know, moment with that cut. So I'm gonna keep that blade for a little bit, see how it works. Maybe it was just a fluke. All right, so we're gonna go over and I'm gonna start setting up this next one. So now we have this little guy. So it looks kind of weird without the body, right? So let's go over, get our white glitter. <laughs> it still has a sticker on there, white glitter. Let's weed this one up. Gabe is not here. He is off. What trade show is going on right now? Secaucus. And BM. So no, he's not here. The office is a lot more exciting. I'm just teasing. It's so boring when everyone leaves for a trade show. So we just can weed this out. So look, I got my little eyelash. Here, let's take the sticker off so you can see the back. Look at this little cutie. Love it. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna take this part off. So we have this part of my design. And then this is not how I'm gonna press it. I'm just kind of doing some aligning right now. So this is how this little cutie's gonna look. So let's keep moving on, okay? So now we have our mint green. I have my design right here. And this is why I'm doing weed boxes because I have um, scrap vinyl that I'm using and so I'm putting it on separate places on my mat. So my weed box helps me figure out exactly where my design is so I can pull it and weed it. I dropped my pick tool, but that's fine. I'll pick it up. Hi, Adriana. So we're gonna go right here. Okay, so we're ready to kind of figure this out, stack it. So again, this is not I'm not gonna press this all at once, but this is just a way to kind of line it up and see how it looks. So we're making good progress. So let's go ahead, this is lavender glitter. And I'm gonna weed up right here. That was probably my easiest one yet. Although I do have a little star right here that wants to stay. So we're gonna go right here. I have one little star that wants to come up with my vinyl. So I'm gonna use my pick tool, hold it down, and leave it like that. And this little star, this is all really confetti. So if it doesn't end up on my design, it's not the end of the world, all right? So we're just gonna trim this down. Get all my cute colors set up. 
and this will go on there too. I'm gonna stop stacking though because I don't want them to start coming off. So full disclosure, this one I started peeling right away because I didn't know if that was gonna weed right, but it weeded perfectly. So I have this one all weeded. And this is lemon sugar. It's a cute yellow color. So this is for the horn of the unicorn. I'm gonna kind of go from there. Can you use this with just an iron instead of a heat press? Um, Janice, Caesar HGB can be used with an iron. Um, you wanna be careful though, because these types of vinyls need proper temperature and pressure. So it's hard to regulate with an iron. That's gonna be the issue that you're gonna run it into. However, you can do it with an iron if you want to or you need to. Okay, so, what? What do you mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna go over, so we have this set up here. Now we have our design set up. This is not how we're going to press it. This is just to line it up to make sure we're setting it up well, so we have this all set. Um, what age is too old to wear unicorns? Never. This is so stinking cute, I love this. You can put on a tote bag, like if you want to, you know, be mature, whatever, where's the fun in that? So we're gonna go over and I'm gonna start setting this up. Um, so check this out, isn't this really cute? So cute. So in just a second, we're just trying to get something set up. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the mouse died. So we're just waiting to get a new mouse set up for this. But, oh, check this out. I don't want this string on here too. So guys, what is your opinion? Would you wear this unicorn? Would you put it on a bag or is this like too much for you? Let me know, for real. What is your opinion on the unicorn? Would you wear it, would you not? How do you feel about it? That sort of thing. What, else, what should we do, Sophie? Do you have any ideas? What do you think about the unicorn? I'm asking you what, I know. I'm trying to ask you what you think about the unicorn. Oh, I think it's super cute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see, on a bag. Pam, I would totally add rhinestones. I love it. Jerry, are you kidding me? You would not wear it on a shirt. You would look so nice with it on a shirt. I would wear it on a shirt. I don't care. Hi, Seth. What's going on? <laughs> so we have this set up. So this is Easy Weed. Okay, guys. So let me talk about these colors real quick. So this right here is pale blue. We have white. We have light pink. Mint. This is the same pale blue up here. Uh, lilac. I mean, it is a yellow, but I think we might have it as another name. Maybe like lemon. I don't know why it blanked out, but it's this cute little yellow color over here. Too much. Oh my goodness. I would totally have this on my tote bag. I, I mean, I'd wear it on my shirt too, but this would be so cute for like, so I like to crochet and I carry around like a project I'm working on. This would be good for my little work and project uh, crochet bag. Lost the microphone. No, uh, maybe for a second, hopefully. You sound like you're in a hole. Uh-oh. Might have had a glitch. Do I sound any better, guys? Hello, everyone. I'm sorry that it's uh, getting a little rough. <laughs> it's Disaster City, lockdown. Sound is different, like I'm far off. Should you, like, can we restart it or something? It's like, dis I'm sure it sounds like what they're saying is maybe I'm getting distorted. Can you disconnect it and reconnect it maybe? I can hear you some. I sound quiet. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Todd says tune in next week to see what could go wrong next. Also, the comments aren't on Mackie scrolling. Mm -hmm. 
I get out. Hello. The sound is horrible. Hello. Can you put me on the front camera at least? Can we do that now? Hi. We all know Lisa isn't quiet. Excuse me, Pam. Excuse me. Okay. How do I sound now? Is it picking up? I mean, is it helping? It's out. <laughs> Can you still fire Beano for this? I'll try. No change. Can you hear me better now? I sound great. Thank you. Most people don't say I sound great. They just say I have a baby voice. Arbery, no, I am not coming to the Meadowlands Expo in New Jersey. I'm sorry. Okay, everyone's saying I sound a lot better. Okay, am I ready to move on? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're, we're moving on. So let's get to pressing because we have a lot of colors to press. All right, so let's go over to this heat press. All right, can you guys still hear me? Are we still good? Yes. Okay, I sound awesome. Thank you. Confident, happy. I'm going to go get... Stuffed burgers tonight. Tonight is Nick's birthday, so we're going to get stuffed burgers. It's going to be a good day, everyone. All right? All right, so I have a J America glitter shirt. This is act oh, I just punched the press. It hurts so bad. Uh, this is actually a youth shirt. So J America youth, really cute. I mean, if you're going to do a unicorn shirt, it looks best on a youth shirt. So let's go ahead and do my pre-press. It hurts so bad. Stop laughing at me. I, like, dug my nail into my finger. Oh my gosh, Sophie, stop laughing at me. She is like keeled over in her chair right now. All right. So we're going to go right here. Stop laughing at me. So we're going to lay this down. We are not pressing this all at once, okay? Because really what you're going to get is your first layer is going to stick, and then the rest of it is going to stick to the carrier. So we're going to peel all of this up. And we have our first layer right here. So... You guys, when we do something like this, we want to make sure we're doing um, quick presses because we don't want the shrinkage. So we're going to go over, and I'm literally going to press this for a second. Let's see how that goes. Perf, super cute. So the next part I'm going to do is the white. I'm going to do the body. So we're going to set this up. So the, the white part, the blue that was just pressed with the text is going to be the middle part of the little um what's that called main so we have that set right there so again just a second i'm going to use my carrier go right here i'm doing really quick presses let's see if i can get this going oh that was too quick <laughs> it wasn't a full second but i was trying so let's go right here Good. So that's our second press, one, two. Let's start setting up our next color. So we're gonna go over here. And now we're laying down this part. Oh, it's over here. So we have this all set. Cute, I think it looks so cute. Um, let me move the camera because like exactly where I'm pressing there's like a weird glare. So let me see if I can fix that. No, I can't. Just take my word for it. I'm just teasing. Let me just go over here. Let me hold it up. All right, so that's my next color. This is my mint green going down. One second. 
So the reason why I'm pressing for one second is one, I don't want too much heat on my vinyl for too long, but two, I don't want to get carrier marks in my other colors of vinyl. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's do our next color. So this is going to be the yellow for the stars and the horn. So we're gonna go right here. Look at that little cute design. So we're gonna set it up. Okay, one second. Let's lift this up. I'm at 310 degrees. I can actually press it lower if I want 305, but I'm gonna be doing glitter next, so I'm leaving my press at 305, I mean 310. All right, we're almost done. So now we have our little hooves and her little heart. So we're gonna line that up. So there's a little spacing between there. You can kind of see, let me kind of, where's that glare coming from that I can fix it? There you go, wait, hold on. My screen's a little delayed too. So that's what we have right now. Look at that little cutie. Okay, one second. So this is the light pink Easy Weed. All right, we have one more press. This is our last color. So we're gonna line that up. So the way that these designs are set up is there's a little bit of space between each color. So I'm just rotating it to get that space and even tugging on sections that may have like shifted. So this is the last one, this is lilac. So, <clears throat> excuse me, even though this is the last press, I'm still gonna do a couple seconds, just one second. And the reason being is because this carrier cuts off part of my design and I don't want a carrier mark in my vinyl. So I'm gonna take this off and so all the colors are down. <clears throat> Excuse me. All the colors are down. You can see right here. But they still need the dwell time or amount of time under the heat. So I'm going to take this back, cover this up, and I'm going to do about eight seconds so that it all gets enough time. All right, so we're going to let that go. Again, if you guys have questions as I'm going, feel free to ask them. Hey, Ryan, you're welcome. Ryan won a shirt in a previous Facebook Live. All right, so we did our press. Let's take this cover sheet off. And now let's check out this little cutie. Let me go over to the other camera because it's not right under a light. So pretty cute. I think it turned out really nice. So you can see, let me get these colors to show up. There we go. So this is white easy weed, light pink, pale blue, mint, lilac, and yellow. So pretty cute. So we have, let me go over to the first one, the, the top one. This is the first version. This is easy weed on a glitter shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a glitter version of this next. And I just saw what texture is this? This is actually a sublimated tablecloth. So this texture is actually printed on it. All right, so let's go back to the heat press. We're gonna start doing our next set of pressing. And I have another J America glitter t-shirt over here, okay? Morgan Caden would dig this. Maybe Caden will win it, you never know. All right, so let's do our pre-press. And so what we're gonna do is I am going to be pressing my neon blue and easy weed together and the reason being is this neon blue is part of this first press here and i can't press easy weed right on top of it so i want to press them together so what i've done is i've trimmed this carrier down actually no i have to press them separately duh because there's vinyl right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this line it up so i'm lining it up to the side because it's a little bit harder under the heat press so i'm just lining it up to the side So this is how it's going to be. I'm not pressing this together because, oh. I'm not pressing this together because dumb me would have pressed this part onto the easy weed. I don't want that. So I'm gonna leave this together to help line it up. So I'm gonna set it up right here. I'm gonna peel this back and lift it up. 
Now, in reality, I don't need this easy weed. You just saw me press it without it, but I'm just gonna do it to see if it gives any more definition to what I'm doing. So we're gonna go over here. Let's bring this down. And yes, this is another youth shirt. I don't really give away youth shirts much, so I wanna give the kids an opportunity. All right, so let's go ahead, bring this over, and this glitter makes it hard to see through the carrier. I'm gonna bring it over. Um, guys, let me go over to this camera so I have more light because I'm having a hard time lining it up. So we're gonna go right here, line this up, line this up, and the good thing, <laughs> if I don't la layer it correctly, um, it's a black shirt, so no one will really know. So it's black easy weed on a black shirt. Okay, so there's my other one. Let's jump back to the heat press. Okay. So now we're just gonna do our, our second at a time just to get this set. So let's go right here, cover it. All right, so now let's see, see how that lifted? It's not pressed long enough. So let's go ahead, press it a tiny bit longer. <laughs> Barefoot, you guys noticed. <laughs> I made, I checked the cameras earlier, and I was, and I was like, oh, I don't want them to see I'm barefoot. And then I got to the point where I was like, meh, they know I do it. Okay, so that's our first one. So I like to do the white part next to give me a little bit, you know, to line up off of. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna use this little guy. See how that looks. All right, so that we have that one all set, let's go ahead, bring this down. So that's white glitter. Okay, so that's this, this one. So let's go ahead and do rose gold. So we're gonna line it up with her little paws, her little tattoo. So we have this all set. Let's go right here. Let's do a couple seconds. Um, any way to buy just one design can't do 60 right now? Actually, Sonia, if you use the code TRWRELEASE-65, you will get this pack 65% off. So that would be close to, what, uh, what, $20 or something like that? So a lot discounted and you'll get a lot more. All right, so now we're gonna do our lavender glitter. It's like what? 21. 21, so it'll be about 21. So there's our lavender glitter. Let's bring that down. Just a couple seconds. And thanks, yeah, the code, someone just commented, I'm sure we have commented, pinned to the top, tier W release dash 65, <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna go right here. Let's drop this down. So this is my mint glitter. Let's go ahead, bring it down for a couple seconds. Did I say pause? <laughs> I met hooves. I uh, have been talking about my dog today. Dogs have paws. So for Nick's birthday today, I've been leaving pictures on his Facebook page. So I said, um, Lacey wants to eat cake for your birthday with her little cake toy. And then I did, um, Lacey wants to eat tacos for your birthday with her taco toy. And then he doesn't know it, but in a little bit, I'm gonna say, Lacey wants to have hot dogs for your birthday. So um, I've been talking about paws. So, oops, sorry guys. All right, so here's our last color. This is the lemon sugar, which is a cute little yellow. And so we're gonna bring that down. So now we're gonna press for a couple seconds. Don't forget, I don't wanna do my last press with the carrier all the way over. <clears throat> so bring that down. And yes, that pack will come with the live templates with the words. It'll also come with clip art with all these unicorns so you can do whatever you want. All right, so we have that lifted. So let's go ahead, bring this down and we're gonna do eight seconds. Oh, Lacey is so cute, thank you. She, she's sweet. Oh, what's today? Oh, she just turned five months. She did. Her paperwork says March 21st. 
Okay? That's what the paperwork says. I didn't burn myself, I punched myself. Like I literally hit the press and I like punched my, the press. I didn't burn myself. That would be an incident report. So check that out. Let me kind of get it in the shadow. Look at this little cutie, I love it. Let me hold it up this way too. So we have two different versions. So this is our glitter. So you can see, let me go with this one because that camera is too far for me to reach. So we have this set. I think there's this, hold on guys. It looked like there was, it was like blown out. So I was like, maybe there's a smudge on here. All right, so here is this one. So neon blue, lavender, mint green, rose, rose gold, and lemon sugar. You know, rose gold paws for the horse, <laughs> stupid. And so we have that all set here. And, and then here is my easy weed version, which I really like too. So this is again, white, mint, this is pale blue, and then lilac. So I think those look really cute as well. And of course, yellow. So two different versions and we'll give away both of these at the end of the live. So those are all the things that I have for you. Now these are all available in our new packs. So we have them on our Facebook page. If you're watching this on YouTube later, it's linked in the description. Um, so you'll be able to get these there. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this for YouTube. I'll see you guys later. Have a good week.